live here on Dynamite and coming up Saturday night at Full Gear in the main event for the AEW World Championship. John Moxley will defend against this man in an I Quit match in our face to face here tonight. Here is Eddie Kingston. Chris, have you been in many I Quit matches? I've been in a few, but I never quit. But I'll tell you what, they're very brutal because what kind of a man would ever want to say that I quit in front of thousands, tens of thousands, a hundred thousand people? Not me. It's obviously a short language for, I'm gonna make you hurt badly enough that you can't stand any more pain. Therefore, you will say, I quit. Yes, in front of your peers, in front of the world. Do your job, Shivani. Hold the microphone up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the AEW World Champion, John Moxley. JR, as you mentioned at the top of the show tonight, there will be no physicality here tonight, or the match won't take place at full gear. Yeah, that's a pretty good decision by TK, as the boys call it. Tony Great. Kong. Great decision by Tony Khan, but I'll tell you what, the late, uh, the, the, the great, the great, great, great Pat Patterson told me, why would you want to waste your time on a Wednesday when the match is already signed for Saturday? That's the money. So tonight, they don't want to touch, they're not going to touch, and not only that, they got some words face-to-face -to, -face to really pound home what's going to happen to each man at full gear on Saturday night. Here comes the champion, the irrepressible John Moxley, the battling champion. He's off his rocker. He's been off his rocker since the day I met him. He's got a, a giant championship belt on his shoulder, and on the other shoulder, an even bigger tip. He sure does, and he got that champion title from me. Seems like 10 years ago, I think about it every day of my life. Kicks are trying to bait Moxley in. Get out of the ring! Cut his music! Cut his music! Shivani, get out of the ring! You think this is a game, John? You think this is a game? I'm gonna destroy you Saturday. You understand that? On the seventh, I'm gonna ruin you. And I'm gonna take that championship. I'm gonna hand it to my mother. And I'm gonna tell her, Ma, the reason why you don't have a grandchild is because of this. The reason why I didn't give you a daughter-in-law is because of this. Because this is all that matters in our sport. No other championship means that much. Only this championship, and you're holding it. So I gotta take you out. I had to sell out. I had to become everything I hated. It's too late for me, John. You ain't saving nobody. And I'm taking that championship from you. Kingston, so intense. So much history between these two men. They say, be careful who you call your friends. Me, I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies because the longer I'm in this business, the more I learn that loyalty is a bitch. And I have been burned time and again, but I never, ever thought I could get burned by you, buddy. Never. I was so happy for you, man. I was so happy for you Who when cares? you signed the contract. Shut cares? up. I'm trying to tell you. I don't care. I'm trying to tell you I what's don't going care. on. I was so happy for you when you signed the contract. You weren't today. happy. I was happy for you. I was happy for your mother, whose dream it was. Yeah, your mother, Ruthie. Don't you ever Whose kitchen table mother. I sat at. Don't you ever. Who I said grace with. Who I made a promise to. That I would look after you. That I would always have your back. No matter what trouble you caused for yourself, I made that promise to her. And I guess, well, I guess I broke that promise, didn't I? See, I believe that the loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room. And you've been real loud lately, Eddie. Why is that? That's not you. You're not weak. So what's going on up here? I think I know what it is. After 18 years, you finally get your shot this Saturday. You get your shot, the shot you never thought you would get. 
deep down in your heart you know deep down in your heart you know you're gonna be in the ring with the AEW world champion the best wrestler on this planet right now and you're gonna lose so it is a scary thought I get it maybe after 18 years it turns out you didn't deserve it after all and the worst part of this Eddie the worst part of this this the part of this that makes me sick, that puts my stomach in knots. You made a promise. You made a promise to your mother that you can't keep. Remember, Kingston can't touch Moxie no matter what he says. Man, this is heavy. This is this is intense. You better get ready. You better get ready. You better get ready to kill me. You better get ready to kill me. Did you hear that? You better get ready. You better get ready. This is real. This is real. This is real. Do it then. I'll show you what's real. Do it. Do it now. Do it then. I don't care about this show. Do it then. Take me out. Go ahead. You ain't gonna do it. That's mine. Oh God. That's mine. This Saturday night, Eddie, at Full Gear, you will find when you are alone with nothing but your ego, and that is a lonely, lonely place, you will find that you are not the man you thought you were, and you will say the words, I quit. Good God, ladies and gentlemen, what intensity. It flowed through these monitors. I was riveted with a conversation between what I would venture to say, perhaps, are two psychos. It doesn't get much more real than that. Eddie Kingston is an angry man. You talk about a chip on someone's shoulder. He's angry that this is his first chance at a world title in 18 years. He's not going to let that go without the fight of John Moxley's life. And this, this Friday night at 11 p.m., the countdown to full gear. You can hear more about the story, the history between Eddie Kingston and John Moxley, and they will face one-on-one -on -one for the AEW World Championship in an I Quit match this Saturday night at full gear.